Dr. Rena Ziade. When it comes to taking care of asthma, there are three things that are very important. Always have your medicines on hand. Know how to use your medicines to control your asthma symptoms. Know how and when to get help when you need it. Working with you as a team, we at Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh and Children's Community Pediatrics can help you keep your asthma under control. Here is more information about allergies and asthma from asthma specialist Todd Green. As allergist immunologists, we see patients with environmental and food allergies, as well as conditions that often come along with allergies, such as eczema and asthma. Many people ask us about the connection between asthma and allergies. Having allergies is a risk factor for developing asthma, although not everyone with allergies develops asthma. In order to understand the connection between allergies and asthma, it's helpful to understand a little bit about the body's immune system. Your immune system is part of your body that helps to protect you from germs that can invade and make you sick. One way that your body's immune system can react, though, is by making proteins called immunoglobulin E, or IgE, that is directed against things like animal dander, pollens, dust mites, or molds. These things are called allergens. Not everyone makes IgE, but in those that do, when they're exposed to those particular allergens, they can get an allergic reaction. When people have a condition known as allergic rhinitis, exposure to an allergen can lead to sneezing, runny nose, itching, and congestion. When people's eyes get inflamed and itchy, that's known as allergic conjunctivitis. The same type of reaction can occur further down in the lungs. In certain people, exposure to an allergen can cause mucus secretion, narrowing of the airway, and inflammation. In the lungs, this causes people to cough and wheeze, whereas in the nose, it may cause them to itch and sneeze. There is some evidence that treating allergic rhinitis can help for asthma as well. This treatment typically involves avoidance of the allergen and use of medications. When these measures aren't enough, however, we have other things that we can turn to, such as allergy shots, and with certain select allergens, allergy drops that go under the tongue. For both allergic rhinitis and asthma, Avoidance of the allergen will stop the allergic reaction from even starting. But with some allergens, that just isn't possible, and we don't want our patients to always have to try to avoid the trigger. We want them to be able to be outside, to be active in sports, and to do everything they like to do and need to do. When they can't do those things comfortably, my job is to work with families to figure out a different approach and maximize their quality of life. These days, fortunately, we have many effective, safe treatment options, so that hopefully the days are long gone when having allergies or asthma meant having to make major lifestyle changes. If you have any questions, talk with your allergist. You or your child should never have to suffer from symptoms that aren't well controlled. Hi, I'm Linda Earhart with the American Lung Association, Program Manager for Pennsylvania Asthma Partnership. I hope you found these videos helpful. For more information on how to stay healthy and gain control of your asthma, you can visit these websites, chp.edu or paasthma.org.